We are going to practice our running stitch today. So you're going to get a styrofoam plate and you are going to pick a stencil to trace. So for this video, I am just going to draw my big letter C for my name, but you will have a chance to use one of the tracers today. So I am lightly pushing this in my styrofoam you notice you can't really see the pencil line it's more of just an indent when you use the pencil on the styrofoam so now that I have the shape of my um, stencil I am going to use my needle and I am going to poke gently on the outline of my shape so for me it's a C I'm leaving a little space between those pokes if I put them right next to each other, it's just going to rip a hole in this plate. So if I bring this up a little closer, you can see that I'm just leaving about a finger space between my pokes. And I'm being careful that I'm not holding on the back where I'm going to poke. So I'm going to follow this all the way around my letter. So I have my dots poked in all the way around my letter C and I've made sure I've left a space between them so that I don't have a hole in my plate. Now I'm ready to pick the yarn that I'd like to use. So we're going to start with one color. So for this video I am going to try red and I have to try to get this yarn into the needle of the string. So there's three ways that you're going to be able to try to do this. The first one is to just try to put the the string right into that big eye. I have a little of it pushed in and I'm going to use my other hand and I'm going to pinch and try to grab it. And I am just going to leave a little tail of the yarn. If you can't get it to work that way, the second way to try is to take that yarn, kind of give it a little loop, and then I'm going to twist that loop really skinny. And then I'm going to try to get that through the eye. And I like to slide it back and forth and try to pinch. And again, I have just a little tail. If those tricks are not working for you, the last little trick, I am going to take a piece of paper, take that off the needle, I'm going to take a piece of paper, it's got to be really skinny. I'm actually going to cut that skinnier and I will have some of these on my table if you want to try it this way. I'm going to wrap my needle in that piece of paper and bend it. Now that piece of paper is going to go through the needle with the yarn sandwiched in there and when I slide it it stays on. So with those three tricks you should find one way to get the yarn on your needle by yourself. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to tie the needle on. That means I'm going to tie a knot like I would tie my shoe. I crisscross those yarns. I take this little tail and wrap it through that hole and I pull. One knot should keep the needle on, but if you want to be extra safe and make sure you don't have to put the needle on again, I would repeat that. So crisscross Pull the tail through that hole and pull. That is a double knot on your needle. I have just a little tail. Now I'm ready to start a running stitch. So when we running stitch, we always start at the back of the plate, of the fabric, and it doesn't matter where you start. So I'm going to flip this over and look for one of those holes to push my needle through. And I'm going to pull, 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 till I have a little tail at the back of my plate. And I'm going to tape that tail down. It's on the back, not going to see it. Now, I say that my needle is above the plate. Sometimes I'm really silly and I call this a pool. So my needle is on top of the water, and my needle is going to dive right back down and every time I put my needle in I have to pull and pull and pull oops I got a little knot I'm just going to kind of oh that would be my luck if this happens to you 
Come find Mrs. Cleary. She can help you get this knot out. Maybe. Ugh. I'm gonna pull that knot through. If this happens to you, Mrs. Cleary can help you fix it. I am just gonna tape this knot down so I don't have to pull it through again. So it'll be on the back side. Nobody will see it. So now I'm ready to continue my running stitch. So I'm gonna come up right next to it in that hole. And I'm gonna follow my C shape around. Needle comes up, pull, pull, pull. Needle goes down. Pull, 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 pull. And up. Pull, pull, pull. And back down. And now I'm away from that tape so it won't be as tricky. So if you notice, I never come around the plate. Right now I can't really see where my needle is so I flip it over looking for that hole and I come up. I don't wrap it around the, the plate. My yarn is on the top of my plate or on top of the pool and now I'm just going to go right back down, pull, pull, pull. Looking on the back for the next hole, pushing the needle up and I pull, pull, pull and I go back down. I like to flip it over to see where that hole is. Every time my needle goes through, I pull and pull and pull. If you would happen to run out of yarn, all you're going to do is tape it on the back of the plate. So I'm going to do a little pretending. I'm going to pretend that right now I don't have enough yarn to continue. Like maybe I have just a tiny little tail like that. That tiny little tail just gets taped just like that. And then I would have to get a new piece of yarn and a new needle to continue. So it would go up. And if I have a new piece of yarn, I have to tape that tail. At the very end of art, you're going to tape your last tail and you're going to have to cut the needle and yarn apart. So for that, I cut really close to the needle and it comes right off. So then the needles will get returned. So at the end of our, your whole letter or shape or whatever we decided to stitch today should be complete 